Have you ever wondered why certain symbols and ideas pervade across cultures and time? Why do dragons, for instance, exist in both Eastern and Western folklore? Or why the concept of a great flood is a common thread in various mythologies? These aren't mere coincidences, my friends. They're reflections of what the renowned psychologist Carl Jung identified as the collective unconscious. This is a reservoir of shared experiences and symbols that shape our worldviews, ideologies, and even our societies. According to Jung, these shared symbols, or archetypes as he called them, are universal. They transcend geographical boundaries and timelines, echoing the shared experiences and emotions of all of humanity. So whether it's the heroic journey of a protagonist or the terrifying figure of a monster, these archetypes are deeply ingrained in our collective psyche. So let's dive into this fascinating realm of shared symbols and see how they shape our culture and society. Consider the universal hero archetype. This figure, this beacon of courage and bravery, pops up in tales from every corner of the globe. Let's take Hercules, the demigod of Greek mythology famed for his strength and for his 12 labors, a classic example of the hero's journey. Now let's shift our gaze to the boy who lived, Harry Potter. Plucked from obscurity, faced with an insurmountable evil, he rises, as heroes do, against the odds. Then there's Mulan, the courageous Chinese warrior who defies societal norms to save her nation. What's fascinating is how these seemingly disparate narratives from different cultures and times actually echo the same pattern, the same hero archetype. They embody the collective unconscious, a testament to shared human experiences and universal themes. These heroes, while unique in their own ways, share a common thread, don't they? Now let's move from heroes to holidays. Picture this, a jubilant community gathering, the air filled with laughter and cheer, the scent of delicious food wafting through the air. This could easily be a scene from harvest festivals celebrated around the globe, from the American Thanksgiving to the Chinese Mid-Autumn Festival or the Indian Pongal. The essence remains the same, people coming together to express gratitude for the bounty of nature. But it doesn't stop there. Consider the winter solstice celebrations, the Yule traditions of ancient Europe, the Iranian festival of Yalda, the Dongji festival in China, they all revolve around the shortest day of the year. Despite the geographical and cultural distances, these celebrations share a common thread, a universal symbolism. They reflect our collective unconscious, the shared symbols and archetypes that shape our cultures and societies. Isn't it fascinating how similar our celebrations can be despite our diverse backgrounds? Symbols are the language of the unconscious mind. They serve as the universal tongue, whispering tales from the depths of our collective psyche. Consider the snake, a creature that slithers through the annals of mythology and religion worldwide. In some cultures, it's seen as a symbol of wisdom or transformation, while in others, it's a symbol of temptation or deceit. The sun and the moon are other recurring symbols. The sun, a blazing ball of fire, often represents life, energy or divinity, while the moon, with its calming luminescence, is frequently associated with femininity, tranquility or the passing of time. These symbols aren't random. They're born from shared human experiences and emotions, transcending geographical boundaries and cultural differences. They're the building blocks of our collective unconscious, weaving a narrative that's understood universally. Our collective unconscious speaks through these universal symbols. Ever noticed how fashion trends seem to cycle? It's as if our sartorial sense has a memory of its own. But what if it's not just memory? What if it's a collective unconscious influence that brings back bell bottoms, shoulder pads and tie-dye shirts from the fashion archives? Consider the fashion trends that have swept across the world in waves and then receded, only to surge back in vogue years later. These trends seem to pervade societies, transcending geographical boundaries and cultural differences, almost as if they're tapping into a shared subconscious reservoir. Now let's ponder the symbolism ingrained in our fashion choices. The power suit, for instance, is not merely a garment, but a statement of authority and competence. A classic little black dress transcends its fabric and cut to become an emblem of elegance and sophistication. So it's not just about what's in or out of fashion. It's about how these trends echo deep-seated archetypes and shared symbols. Even in our wardrobes, the collective unconscious makes its presence felt. A pop culture is a vibrant playground for shared symbols. 
Let's take a quick dive into this fascinating world. Consider the iconic lightning-shaped scar of Harry Potter. It's not just a mark of his encounter with he who must not be named, but it's also a symbol of resilience and courage resonating with millions around the globe. Or let's talk about the Mockingjay in The Hunger Games, a symbol of rebellion and hope amidst despair. Music isn't left out either. The universally recognized peace sign that John Lennon often flashed is a testament to his advocacy for a world free from strife. These symbols permeate our collective consciousness, often becoming larger than the works they originated from. They're not just elements of a story or a musician's persona, they become rallying points, conversation starters, and even elements of personal identity. They connect us through shared understanding and experience, making us part of a global community. Pop culture is indeed a mirror reflecting our shared unconscious. Our rituals and traditions are steeped in shared symbols. Ever wonder why so many cultures celebrate the changing of seasons? Or why rites of passage like weddings and graduations are universal? These common elements across diverse cultures suggest a shared unconscious origin. Take, for example, the tradition of lighting candles or lamps. From Hanukkah in Judaism to Diwali in Hinduism and the quiet candlelit vigils in Christian churches, the symbolism of light piercing through darkness is a universal theme. It's a shared symbol that resonates with our collective unconscious, symbolizing hope, enlightenment, and the triumph of good over evil. Or consider the ritual of sharing a meal. It's not just about nourishing our bodies, it's a symbol of community, of sharing, of togetherness. It's a ritual that binds us, that reminds us of our interconnectedness, our shared humanity. Symbols hold immense power. They are not just simple drawings or patterns. They are the language of our collective unconscious. They can conjure up a world of ideas and emotions, bridging the gap between the conscious and the unconscious mind. Consider the peace symbol, a circle enclosing a vertical line and a pair of downward slanting lines. It's more than just an emblem, it's a rallying cry, an embodiment of a universal longing for tranquility and harmony. Or think about the heart symbol, a simple yet potent portrayal of love and affection. It can stir feelings of warmth and tenderness, even without a single spoken word. Symbols exist beyond the realm of language, transcending cultural and linguistic barriers. They tap into our shared human experience, resonating with us on a profound level. They are the silent whispers of our collective dreams, fears and aspirations. Symbols indeed are the keys to our collective psyche. Superheroes are modern day mythologies. Bursting from comic book pages and dominating our big screens, these larger-than-life characters serve a purpose far greater than mere entertainment. They are our modern myths, embodying universal themes and archetypes that resonate deep within our collective unconscious. Consider Superman the archetype of the hero, embodying our innermost dreams of strength and invincibility, or Batman the shadowy vigilante, reflecting our darker impulses and our quest for justice in a world often devoid of it. These symbols, these superheroes, they are us. They are our hopes, our fears, our dreams, and our nightmares. And what about Wonder Woman, a symbol of empowerment and femininity, breaking barriers in a male-dominated landscape? She represents the divine feminine, a beacon of hope and strength in the face of adversity. These superheroes, they are not just characters, they are symbols. Symbols that resonate with our collective dreams and fears. Our caped crusaders are, in fact, the embodiment of our collective dreams and fears. Ever wondered why top brands' logos are so memorable? It's not just about clever design. These corporate sigils or logos tap into our collective unconscious, using symbols that resonate on a deep, unspoken level. Think of the golden arches of McDonald's or Apple's iconic bitten fruit. They're not just images, they're symbols imbued with cultural and psychological significance. And that's why they stick. They don't just represent companies, they echo shared narratives and values. Even in the corporate world, the collective unconscious holds sway. Some movie scenes leave an indelible mark, don't they? They tap into universal themes and symbols resonating with our deepest emotions. Remember the climactic scene in Star Wars when Luke Skywalker confronts Darth Vader? It's not just about good versus evil, it's about the hero's journey, self-discovery and redemption. Or how about the heart-rending scene in Titanic when Rose lets Jack go? It's a poignant symbol of love, sacrifice and loss. 
Our collective unconscious is the secret scriptwriter behind these memorable moments. Enjoying the journey so far? Immerse yourself deeper into the labyrinth of collective unconscious by subscribing to our channel. And if you're appreciating our venture into shared symbols, do hit the like button. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights. Music, the universal language, it's a powerful conductor tapping into our collective unconscious. Whether it's the rhythmic drum beats echoing through an African savanna, or the haunting strains of a violin in a concert hall, music transcends cultural barriers. It resonates within us, stirring emotions, invoking memories, and awakening our shared human experiences. Like an unseen thread, it weaves together our diverse narratives into a rich tapestry of human expression. In the symphony of life, our collective unconscious is the maestro. So what's the takeaway? Our collective unconscious, brimming with shared symbols, is a profound influencer of culture and society. It swathes our world in archetypes, rituals and traditions, creating a vibrant mosaic of human experience. The collective unconscious indeed weaves the tapestry of our shared human experience. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the collective unconscious. If this piqued your curiosity, why not share this video with others? After all, symbols and ideas are at their most potent when passed around. Much like a good joke or a captivating story, got something to say? Leave a comment, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of the collective unconscious. Savored this video, fancy another? Click the on-screen video for an even deeper dive into fresh territory. Your support is like a warm cuppa on a brisk day. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell for the latest content. Cheers for watching.